Hello, welcome. Our topic is influence of man and his environment. Influence of man and his environment. You can see these women, they are in their environment. How geography affects the way we live. First of all, learning about geography is very important. You will agree with me. It helps us to understand the environment we live in. Now, humans or man actually have depended entirely on nature for food, for clothing, and for shelter. But with time, they learned new skills and they grew food, they built homes, and then they developed better means of transport and communication. So with time, man have learned new skills to grow food. And he has even learned more skills to build homes and then develop a better means of transportation and communication using technology. Now, occupation. Musa is a young boy who lives in Southern Kaduna. He's a Fulani man. Every morning before he goes to school, he helps his father to milk their cows. So Musa's father is a cattle rearer. Okay. From the sale of cows, Musa's father is able to send Musa and his sister to school. Musa's father is able to provide for his family this occupation. Types of occupation. We have one, cattle rearing. Two, mining. Three, farming. Four, fishing. We have hunting, lumbering, teaching, and other different types of occupation. But we are going to put our minds down to cattle rearing, mining, farming, and fishing. The image before you is that of a fisherman. You can see lots of fish that he has caught from the river. Okay, so these fishes are really big. So that is what fishing as an occupation. So first, we are going to start in uh, with cattle rearing. You remember the story I told you earlier about uh, Musa, a young boy who lives in Southern Kaduna. So this Musa. Okay, so cattle rearing, uh, you have more in the Guinea savannah that is in the dry lands. The Fulani people are cattle rearers. Okay, they have plenty of grass in this area. Then we have mining as an occupation. People mine uh, lots of minerals from the ground in Nigeria. Like in the Jaws Play too, there are mines even in the, the certain parts of the country here. The crude oil is being mined. Then we have some minerals that are mined too. Farming is an occupation. So you have more farming activities in the rainforest and southern lowlands and in the valleys. The Igbo and Yoruba people, they plant crops like yam, coco yam and cassava. And then they grow beans, plantains and vegetables. Farmers produce a lot of food which we eat in this country. Fishermen, now, this fishing as an occupation. So most often you see fishing activities go more in the Niger Delta region. Many job people are fishermen because the land is swampy and cannot be farmed. So you see, most often they go into fishing. Now the different kinds of houses, mud house, silt house, and cement house. Now there's what we call urban drift. There's what we call urban drift, okay? Most persons move from villages to cities, and this makes the villages, that is the farmers in Nigeria, to be reducing, okay? Nigeria now has to buy food from other countries because people here do not want to farm anymore. They are drifting from uh, villages to city centers in search of better jobs. Some Nigerian cities are Lagos, Ibadan, Portakot, Kanu, Kaduna, Enugu, Abuja, Okay, even here in Benin City, people are leaving villages and they are coming down to cities. So many people have left the villages to go and live in cities and towns to get better jobs. As I said earlier, they would farm the land, grow food to eat and sell the rest for money. Now we've talked about natural disasters and man-made disasters. Earthquakes, hurricanes, floods, lizards, tornadoes, fires, tsunamis, severe storms, landslides, medical emergencies. And natural man-made terrorist attack violence explosions accidents and chemical spills we can start by explaining them let's just look at earthquakes earthquakes are sudden shaking of the ground caused by passage of seismic waves hurricanes are all those dangerous winds that produces damage okay now human geography helps us to understand how uh, the areas we live in and how to adapt to such environment. Thanks for watching this video and be